What's going on guys, Leon Bratt here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to create a Twitch and YouTube schedule. Now a schedule is important for two reasons. The first reason being that it lets your viewers know when to expect content and the second reason is that it actually keeps you in line with being consistent. So let's get into the Twitch side of this video and let's get on with the Twitch schedule. So the first part of this video is all about a Twitch schedule and how to really come up with a Twitch schedule that's going to work for you and for your audience. So how often should you be streaming on Twitch? If you're a musician on Twitch like myself, I would recommend streaming three days a week. Now if you're a gamer, you could always do four days a week, maybe more if you wanted to, but I'd keep it three or four days. The reason why we want to be doing about three days a week is because you want your viewers to miss you but not forget about you. I would also break up those days as well just to give your voice a little bit of a rest. The next thing is how long should you be streaming for? Now I would say at least two hours but if you can do a bit more than that. You want to be doing about three maybe four hours if you can. This just means you're a lot more discoverable on the platform and Twitch is going to recommend you to more people for the longer time that you spend streaming. Let's jump onto the PC. I'm going to show you some analytics of my Twitch channel and just see why you'd want to be streaming for more than two hours. So here we are, we're onto Twitch now and if we go to the top right and click on create a dashboard and then on the left hand side we click on insights and then stream summary. So now we have the breakdown for each stream and you can see up here that this one was five hours long, this one was about four hours long, this one four and a half hours. If we go back to the first one, so this is the most recent one. As you can see, over the course of five hours, the numbers are growing and growing and growing. This is about four hours, four and a half hours this is just here. But if we go to the next one along, you can see that we're growing, 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 growing. Next one, growing, 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 growing. If you only stream for about an hour, you're not gonna get the most amount of discoverability and say two hours, I think we might have had a little bit of a raid here or something was going on here. Maybe playing marbles, that seems to kill the viewers sometimes. So this is why you wanna be streaming for at least four, five hours if you can. It is a very, very, very long time to stream for, especially if you're singing, so don't overdo it, don't kill yourself but try and do at least three hours if you can, that would be good. Now the next part in this video is which days should you be streaming on Twitch? This really depends on your lifestyle and what you can and can't do, but always look at when the viewers are live in the music category and just always do the research before you make a schedule. Now you might be thinking, Leon, where on earth am I gonna find out this information? Well, let's jump back onto the PC and I'll show you exactly where. Okay, so we're on the PC now and all you need to do is go to www.twitchtracker.com and then you can search just here, just put in music, we're going to search for the category and then click on music just here. If you are a gamer, then all you need to do is type in the game that you play. So it could be Apex Legends, League of Legends, or Rocket League, whatever you play, you can type this in. Now, if we scroll down a little bit to this graph, you can click on seven days, and this is gonna give you the times of each day. If you click on daily or monthly, that's not gonna give you the times. It's only gonna give you the days or the months, but seven days will give you the times, as you can see down here. So if we scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see just here the viewers in average channels in average and hours watched in average and as you can see saturday is the best day for the music category then it is on a sunday then a friday for me personally i stream on wednesday friday and saturday and these days and times are all in utc as well saturday is the best day for the music category now if we go back up and if we go for a wednesday at 12 pm you can see here that when I start my stream at 12 p.m. or actually what's this UTC so it'll be 1 p.m. so if we go to 1 p.m. you can see that this is where people start coming online on a Wednesday that's where I stream just here and then I've got the Friday around this time here and a Saturday around this time just here so with that information you can sort out which day and which time you should be streaming which leads me nicely into the next thing is which times you should be streaming Depending on your location will depend on which kind of time that you stream, but have a look at Twitch Tracker and see which time is going to be best for you and best for the audience or music or game that you stream. 
For me personally, I always stream at 7 p.m. GMT on a Friday and Saturday, which means that it is 11 a.m. PT and 4 a.m. AEST. And on a Wednesday, I stream at 12 p.m. BST, which means that it is 4 a.m. for PT, which is Pacific time, and 9 p.m., which is AEST, which is in Australia. The reason why I've actually chosen those times is because it funnels all of my audience into three streams a week at those specific times. And the reason why I do a 12 p.m. stream on a Wednesday is because it's a completely different time to the Friday and Saturday streams. And it also gives the Australians a chance to be at the streams once a week. Now, the five things that I would say about a schedule is number one, stick to the schedule. Number two, don't be late. Number three is don't be early. Number four is be consistent. And number five is have a clear schedule that is easy to remember for you and your followers. So moving on to the next part of this video, this one is all about creating a YouTube schedule and blocking out time for content creation. In terms of creating a YouTube schedule, you first need to know how many videos that you're gonna upload per week. Make sure it's a number that's gonna be possible to keep up with and to not leave you feeling overwhelmed and stressed out. That is the worst. I have recently uploaded a video called How to Stay Motivated as a Content Creator. You can click the card and go and check that video out after this one is finished. With content creation, you always want to focus on quality over quantity. Uploading one video per week is a good starting point, but if that's not doable, then you can upload one video video every two weeks, but just make the video twice as valuable. For me personally, I always upload twice a week. Every Tuesday is gonna be a video very similar to this, where it's a kind of tutorial video or a tips and tricks video for content creators or live streamers. And every Friday is a cover of a song. For this type of video, I will always try and write a script. Now it doesn't have to be a full written script, it can just be bullet points. Having bullet points instead of a full written script just helps to keep the natural flow of the video and it also helps to keep you on track whilst filming. I don't usually give myself a set amount of time to film a video, it takes however long it takes. The same goes for when I'm writing the scripts, it takes however long it takes. Being a content creator can get super stressful. Do what you can to keep the stress level down. Just remember that you will get a lot quicker at writing, filming and editing the YouTube videos, but I wouldn't recommend doing it all in one day. So when it comes to blocking out time for filming and editing YouTube videos, here's what to do. It is so much better to break things up and keep things as stress-free as possible. Trust me. For example, if you wanted to upload a video on a Friday, you could do all of the writing of the script and the filming of the video on the Monday. On the Tuesday, you could edit the video. On the Wednesday, you could do the thumbnail, the title, all of the keyword research, all of the descriptions. You could get all of that stuff done and all uploaded and scheduled for the Friday. Just give yourself enough breathing space. When it comes to actually editing the videos, what I've recently started doing is using a timer on my phone. So I could put a timer on for 20 minutes, 30 minutes or 50 minutes. And then once that timer goes off, walk away from the PC, have a quick break, come back, put the timer back on again. This just helps to keep you not getting distracted from the work and scrolling through your phone. You know you'll be in timed. It just, it's just a nice little mental thing to keep you on track. I would only do this method of timing yourself when you're comfortable with editing and you know what the end product should look like. If you're just starting out, I probably wouldn't do this. Just give yourself enough time to do whatever you need to do. As a content creator, ideally what you wanna be doing is working ahead of yourself. Now the best way to be working ahead of yourself is by batch creating content. Now batch creating content is about doing all the work up front and then you've got enough breathing space over the next few weeks and the content is going out on a scheduled upload schedule. Now I will be doing a video in the coming weeks about how to do this properly. So make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss that. But there we go guys. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. If you did enjoy that and you did find value within this video, then please do hit that like button down below. Subscribe as well so you don't miss any future videos and leave a comment if there's anything you're unsure of or anything you wanna to add to this and I will see you next week for the next video. Peace.